Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to Aurora Zoo, and today we're going to look at the bonobo and chimpanzee habitats that we made, and they're actually inside this big brick building that uh, I decided, I don't know why, when we started building it, I was like, huh, I'm just going to use the brick, because we actually haven't ever used that in Aurora Zoo at all, and then... As we were building it, I was like, you know, it kind of reminds me of those old, you know, those like old factories and like power plants, textile plants and things like that. I was like, it kind of reminds me of that. So we kind of went with that idea and uh, also kind of uh, going off of the idea we used uh, for the Aurora Mines way back here. You guys remember the Aurora Mines? Wasn't that long ago, but yet it feels like that long ago but you know we kind of gave it a backstory that the mines were here they were long abandoned uh somebody bought the like land and turned it into a zoo hence the name aurora zoo uh so we kind of did the same thing here like maybe this old uh textile plant was here long before this was ever a zoo and uh we actually even did a old like kind of worn out looking sign using some of the letters and i have to say i'm actually pretty pretty proud of uh the way it looks kind of trying to uh you can't really make faded letters in the game uh so i did the best i could by like just ever so slightly changing the uh you know like rotation of some of the letters so they kind of actually just sink into the wall a little bit and, you know, kind of from far away, it, it kind of gives it the illusion like they're just faded off the building. Um, but yeah, it's it's a rather large building. Uh, even did like a little backstage area here. If you're figuring this was an old textile plant, uh, they'd probably have like a loading dock and all that stuff. So we've got some of that. Um, it's no longer a loading dock. It's not used for anything, but you know, the staff that work in the zoo maybe kind of just use it as like a like a drop spot, just put random stuff around. Uh, but I think it looks really cool. I like it a lot. Um, I love just all the little details on the side of the building. Really happy with the backstage area. Uh, we'll show you what's in there as we go on. But yeah, so this is the front of it. And like I said, the bonobo and chimpanzee habitats inside. super happy with it but yeah i've i know i've definitely said in live streams i don't know if i've said it in videos but um you know i always feel like buildings are like kind of my weak skill in the game uh making them look interesting and sort of realistic so i'm really proud of this one because i think it just turned out really really good uh you also you can't see because of the snow but uh this part of the roof is actually the copper roof because I thought it would be kind of a nice little contrast there. But yeah, let's go inside. So you head in through the doors, go up the stairs, and then immediately you're greeted to the chimpanzees. And uh, if you watched the last episode with the orangutans, I was talking about how it built this really cool custom climbing area for them that they don't really use. So I actually, I just copied it and brought it in here for the chimpanzees. Uh, and they, they do a lot more climbing than, than the orangutans. So, uh, it's definitely getting a lot more use. Even made them like a little, a uh, little chimpanzee house back here, which see, he's even using it. But yeah, as you can see, it's all brick. We have more of like the, uh, kind of, uh, vaulted ceiling there and some rafters going across. And, oh man, it's just... I, I'm so happy to see the chimpanzees actually running around and using all this stuff. Because it's like, man, I really tried hard to make it look cool and interesting. So, that's a lot of fun. We also have... So, this is like the little... This is the guest area, obviously. Some details on the walls. We've got some conservation boards and like potted plants. Also use the parquet flooring, which uh, I don't think we've used in the zoo at all either. So it adds just a nice little contrast, kind of brightens it up a little bit because uh, it is a little bit reflective. So that's really nice. And then we head down here. So this is where this is like the concrete 
building we saw from the outside. So uh, on the other side here is where like the uh, loading dock would be. It's actually right there. But yeah, so we've got like just a nice little food court here, a bunch of details on the walls, which pretty happy with. It looks really nice. I did the uh, elephant statue there and the uh, rhinoceros statue, even though we don't have either of those in the zoo, but uh, the chimpanzees and bonobos are, you know, they're African animals. So I wanted to include uh, as much of like that theme as possible. And yeah, it's, it's just a nice little food court. It's not anything super crazy, but I think it works out really well. Again, the parquet flooring, more potted plants, and then just a bunch of details on the walls there. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks great. And then we head up this way. So this is where the bonobos are. And uh, I like this habitat a lot because one, uh, the viewing area is actually an elevated path that goes right above it. But we also have this fun little uh, area in here, which using the uh, like hexagon windows here, which don't get a lot of use because they don't have any wall pieces that fit those. Um, yeah, I've never really done like kind of one of these like basic little just concrete rooms here. So I thought it would be good to do that. And then the guests have a nice view of it. And then of course they can come around over here, uh, use these uh, hanging platforms here, which we used in the lemur habitat. So repurposing those, well not repurposing, but using them in addition to, I didn't take them out of the lemur habitat. Uh, also we have this uh, beam going across here, which they can actually run around and climb over and uh, they, they won't escape. So it's actually, the height is too high for them to jump down, so they won't try to jump down. They'll just run across. So it's a fun way to add a little bit of extra, uh, I guess. I was going to say engagement. That's not the right, uh, not the right word, but make the guests feel like they're kind of just, they're literally just right in the middle of the habitat. So it's pretty cool. Oh, their water's a little bit dirty. Got to get a uh, water treatment in here. Um, yeah, that, that's that's the Bonobo habitat. Uh, we can look at it at nighttime too. So we put these lights and sunk them down in the path, which I thought was a better option than having like some sort of like uh, light on like any kind of pole going across here. And then uh, just like in the uh, orangutan habitat and also in the chimpanzee habitat, we'll show you that one at nighttime. But we use the spotlights to uh, add a little bit of extra light on the climbing structures there. So, you know, guests just get a nicer view. And then if we head back this way, so there you can see inside there. So we head back down to the food court. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the lighting. And then we head back up to the chimpanzees. I really like this floor. I'm surprised I haven't actually used it more because it's uh, it's just it's got some nice detail to it, and I like that it's a little bit reflective. So there you go. There's the uh, chimpanzees. You can see them running around. We've got the spotlights there that are lighting it up nicely. And then if we just head back out, so we can see. Uh, so here we go. Here's like the outside. We've got more lights here. And then we can see the like loading dock area here as well. So we got some lights looking good, looking good, looking good. I also reused, you probably might've spotted this uh, a few minutes ago, but reused the uh, little covered like heated area here. Uh, so we have that, we used that first in Bear Claw Canyon over here. You might remember that. So just a nice little place where guests can go and uh, sit down, warm up a little bit. So figure, you know what? Oh, we'll use that again. But I think it's kind of neat. Uh, there's not a lot over here just yet. But I, I like that the guests will actually have to like walk through it. So if they're coming from this way, so this is the gorilla house there. 
um, they'll have to actually walk through it, but I think it looks good. Yeah, I like the, uh, you got the lights on the side of the building there, light, lighting up Aurora Textiles Company. We got some more spotlights on the clock tower there, and it's just, oh man, look at that view. Holy cow. Yeah, so there we go. There's the, uh, the other newest update there. Uh, the only other thing we're going to do next, we only have one more habitat we're going to add. Um, I actually, I moved the staff area back this way a little bit so that uh, we have some more room right here. And we're actually going to do a, a small round habitat for the uh, capuchin monkey. And uh, we're just going to make like a little path where the guests can walk in kind of just circles around and then comes back out because guests can't enter the capuchin monkey habitat. So that'll be a fun little thing to do there. And then I don't know if we'll add anything here. Might just fill it up with some trees. We don't have any other habitats we're going to add. Um, so I'm not really sure what to put there. It is a lot of space. We could maybe do like, I don't know, some sort of indoor cafeteria kind of thing. But... We'll, we'll see what we're feeling once we finish the capuchin monkeys. But other than that, if we zoom out, I mean, there's the, the primates area. You guys remember for the longest time, this was all empty. No mountains, no trees. The aquarium had been here for a while, but other than that, it's already uh, done and filled up. I mean, it's not completed, but it it's, pretty close everything we see is going to be here other than the capuchin monkey right there so yeah that's that so there you go guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about this build and the uh the two habitats of the chimpanzees here um and you know let me know what you think of the zoo overall it's been you know almost a year that we've been working on this zoo which is pretty crazy to think about so you know what are some of your uh favorite parts and favorite moments from the zoo i would love to hear them but yeah i'm gonna leave this part here as always be sure to leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below i am a bit josh and thanks for watching see ya